Hey guys, so I know that a lot of you have already seen at my past videos I did months ago, like explaining why I decided to become a Beachbody coach and some of the reasons, some of the things that I found out about myself. But I did want to just do a little bit of an update, you know, and for some, some of you who don't know why. I am, I used to be a special education teacher, did that for almost eight years, and then had my first son, went back part-time, and that was really tough, just to, to work, work part-time, come home, you know, and um, still have to raise my son and get up and do it all over again. Um, just teachers, you know, we have long hours, you know, we have to get, have to, get to school much earlier before school starts, get a lot of things done. I had a lot of meetings before school. And I would have meetings after school. Did it matter if I, my my work hours were done at 12:30? If I had a meeting at 3:30, I had to come back. If I had training, I had to come back, and I had to find a way um, and someone to watch my kid. And so usually it would be my mom or my mother-in-law. And after a while, that did take a toll. You know, they are grandparents, but they're not necessarily supposed to be the number one um, babysitter daycare. So then I got pregnant with my second nine months later <laughs> and really had to think about, okay, so now we're going to have two kids under two and I'm still going to be working part time and I'm still going to be obligated to go to early morning meetings and late and late, um, late meetings and trainings. So how is this going to work? Is it even going to be worth the money and the time away um, to do this? So my husband and I decided no. I was going to stay home. I was going to watch the boys. And thankfully, I was able to still work, do a little bit of work and stuff um, at home with my father-in-law with his business. So that works out. You know, we just had to really be more smart about our money. Great, love it, and love the fact that we were we had an option um, to be able to have me stay home. I know a lot of you don't have that, and you know, more power to you because I don't know how you do it. <laughs> It's got to be super hard to still have that full-time job. Come home and you get start your second full-time job, and things still have to get done. Um, through that process of me being home, I sort of felt like I lost myself. I lost my identity, who I was, because at least when I had a job, I was me, my, an individual person, and I had an identity. But I didn't have that outside job to go to. I, my job now is to be the mother of my two boys and the wife to my husband which is not a, a bad identity it's just I lost just me Kristen who was I now I was no longer the special education teacher you know I was a mom and a wife which I love and I know people may, may think that I am not giving that enough credit and putting it down absolutely not um, I just know that you know a lot of times no longer would I introduce myself as Kristen, I would introduce myself as Tiago's wife or Octavian and Thelonious's mother. I no longer had a name. So that was the problem. No longer had a name and I no longer felt like I had an identity and I didn't know who the heck I was anymore. I was no longer a teacher, I was a mom and a wife. But who am I down to the core? If you take those away, can I describe myself? No, I couldn't. I could only describe myself as a mom to the boys and a wife to my husband. That was it. So thankfully, with Beachbody and through personal development that I, you know, I love reading and it's not like for those who like, you need help because you're an addict or you're depressed or this is that. Everybody always can improve upon some aspect of their life. And so with that, you just become a better, more full and well-rounded person. So with Beachbody, that's a, one of the key components in just being a successful person person business person just in general is what we they have us do which i love and i'm so thankful for because i never did any of that um another part of the journey and it's only been six months you know is i've been able to open up a separate account you know and actually start saving for once you know and know that if we have a short a hard month or whatnot then maybe i can help or if you know we go over you know our grocery budget I know I can dip into that if we really need something um, we need to get the truck fixed you know then we've got money to do that you know there's there's a safety net now you know of extra that we're bringing I'm bringing in that I'm able to help out with which is such a relief and it's sort of nice to feel like that I'm contributing again 
Um, but it's also opened up a whole nother aspect of my life I never thought of, you know. Um, I now am a fitness instructor, you know. I got Insanity certified um, back in September, and starting in October, I started teaching classes, which I am lucky. Sorry, okay. I am lucky because my husband owns a martial arts gym, so I am able to teach out of there. But even if he didn't have that, I would be able to go to any of these uh, local gyms because Insanity is so new to the area here in Arizona. And I love it. That's like my new thing. It's I found like my new passion. And it's sort of what I should have been doing from the, for, from the first place. Thelonious. Thank you. Um, now I want to be a monkey. When I came out to Arizona for college, I actually wanted to do exercise science, which is kinesiology. You know, and pretty much you could do anything. You could go take it to being an athletic trainer all the way to like a fitness uh, instructor and, and all those certifications. But misguided 18, 19 year old, you know, who's came across the country, has no parents, no rules, no nothing. I lost my way um, and ended up, in my mind, taking the easy way out. But it was something that just came natural to me and I just didn't have that person or that counselor to really know me truly and guide me the right way. But I became a special teacher and that's no in any ways do I regret it. I love it. I love the kids. Um, and it was just so rewarding. But it's not something that was my passion. It's something that I enjoy to do. So it still felt like work. When it's something you are passionate about, not a day goes by, do you, are you thinking you're working? And that's something that I saw in my husband. He loves what he does. I mean, he literally eats, breathes, and sleeps it. And there are times where I'm like, can you shut it off? Like, can you just turn it off? Can you just be with us? And just like, it doesn't exist for a little bit. He tries. <laughs> but it's not possible because that is his passion. Like, he just... You know, like he that's a part of his life force. You know, you take that away, then again, that's his identity and he doesn't know what to do. So I just had never found it. And I think I've and I think I know that I found it now because that is what I do. Anything I'm reading, anything that I am trying to speak with people, people I meet, I am trying to absorb anything and everything that has to do with health and fitness and just bettering myself as a person. And I wouldn't have been like that if you'd asked me that six months, a year, two, three, four, five years ago. Not at all. I was, you know, pretty much on an elimination diet, you know, like negative calories, may, may, barely made a thousand calories a day, and working out an hour or two every, cup, every day. And definitely not seeing any results of like I am now. So my identity, my passion, I have found it now. I am in love with it. I love that I get to help people still, that I get to teach people still. It's just the content and the format is totally different. It is something that I am much more comfortable with and it's something that I am passionate about, that I am wanting to constantly learn and just better for myself. And through that, I'm so excited to actually share it with everybody. So that's where I feel like if you are at that point where you're not really sure uh, you know, where you wanna go, but you know that you wanna get healthy, you wanna have a healthier lifestyle, you wanna change the way that your family dynamic is working, how they're eating, maybe your relationship. And my relationship with my husband now is so much better because I am trying to put time into that relationship. It's not just, well, we have kids, we don't have time, I'll get to you later. <laughs> kind of a thing, you know, like tonight, we actually are gonna go out on a date. I don't even know the last time we went on a date. Um, we get to go to see Aziz Ansari, his, and he, he's a really funny comedian. So we're gonna go and, you know, be able to spend time with each other and, you know, leave the kids alone. I actually like did my hair totally straight. You know, it took me, I don't even know how long. You know, I'll put makeup on and do myself up nice as well, um, but, that was paid for by Beachbody to be able to go out and do that. You know, like his Christmas presents, the boys' Christmas presents. I was able to use my Beachbody money and not have to dip in 
to our actual family household money to do it this year. You know, no credit cards were used this year because we were trying to get out of debt. Um, so that's just sort of, I know I made it a little long, that's just where I'm coming from. In six months time, how I've been able to just change myself and I'm much happier. I think you can ask that for my husband, my parents, my friends. I am much happier, you know, and it's not a fake happy. It is a true, genuine, like it's oozing out of my pores and I'm wanting to just spread that to anybody and everybody and help anybody and everybody. Um, so that's my why, that's my update and I'll let you all know how the comedy and how the date goes.